Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, what I think is a really fascinating feedback on climate change and that we're tackling with some very innovative experimental oceanography, real oceanographic experiments. So we know about carbon dioxide warm increasing in the atmosphere, warming the globe, also turning the oceans more acidic. That's having an impact on ocean biology. Ocean biology controls, to some extent, the exchange of other climate active gases between the ocean and the atmosphere. So what's that feedback? How is that change actually going to affect climate? So how is that ocean acidification change in the trace gases, for instance, dimethyl sulfide? This, um, try and find my point. There it is. DMS, we call it. How is the ocean acidification affecting that exchange between ocean and atmosphere? Dimethyl sulfide leads to cloud formation and that cools the earth. So we carried out a number of experiments now in cold waters. This was the coldest up in Svalbard. Um, acidify, well, these are mesocosms, we call them, put nine of those in the ocean, acidify them to very ex varying extents and see what happens to the dimethyl sulfide emissions over time, over about 10 weeks. And you can see as you increase the carbon dioxide levels, this is carbon dioxide, here's acidity here, to a point equivalent to about the year 2100, then you get a decrease in DMS. You extrapolate that globally with a climate model and you get an increase in global warming. So you're decreasing the cloud cover, increasing global warming by about 10%. And that, we published that last year and it got quite a bit of publicity in various places. But that kind of, we've only done that in cold water up to that point. What's gonna happen over the rest of the globe? So this is some, DM, some NSF funding that we've got, Paddy and Pete Countway and I, and we've been involved with a German team working on, did you just put that up? <laughs> <laughs> working on um, the same issue, but in warm waters off the Canaries. And I've just come back last night from this experiment we've carried out, and here's the results. So we get that same decrease in DMS in the tropical waters as well. So that might, gives us some more confidence in our model and our predictions. And we're going to do two more of those experiments.